Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. Today we have some pretty awesome hot fixes here for a season of discovery to go over. Um, nothing too crazy, uh, just a few things that they sort of uh, added, changed, and you know, always trying to balance this out before AQ and Descent into Madness goes live. Also, as of yesterday, Agrin decided to comment on our video about the 40, 20 to 40 man changes and their team is working on it. So hopefully we see something with that. I really, you know, obviously shared all my thoughts in yesterday's video, but I really hope they, uh, you know, revert it back to 2040 because I think it's best for the solid community. But anyway, before we get into the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Everything you guys do helps my channel grow, helps me get discovered, and helps me help as many people as possible, which is the entire point of my channel. So without further ado, let's get into the video so i'm going to switch it over here to the blue post and we're going to dive right into it so the first thing are items and the blessed karaji war axe stamina removed was nine stamina and strength increased to nine was zero so they changed that from stamina strength signet ring of the bronze dragon flight time worn damage over effect increased to three percent per piece was two percent so that's insane for the affliction warlocks maybe boomkins shadow priests like that's actually a massive buff uh because that's per piece of time worn gear you're gonna wear and you're probably gonna wear a lot to make those dot builds work signet reign of the bronze dragon flight time worn extra attack effect changed to just true extra attack can proc things and now be activated with the same sources of that proc hand of justice so that's actually insane. Like, that's crazy. So, especially, it's so like, Wind Fury could proc your Hodge, and, like, you would go crazy, and you'd do, like, 2k damage in one second in, in normal uh, classic. So, having all those effects stacked, that's just another one. So, like, if you're running Wind Fury, Hodge, and that ring, you can essentially hit someone and then hit them three times if you get the triple proc. And, like, if you have a hand of rag or something insanely high DPS, obviously there's better weapons in Sod, but, like, that that's crazy. You can hit someone with four attacks, and you can just blast. So that's good for two-handed uh, builds, for sure. And just one-handed builds all around. Any melee DPS is going to love that, just for the potential to four-hit someone. Uh, Wrath of Cenarius is now activated by Spellfrost, Bolt, Bale, Firebolt, and Frozen Orb as intended. So that's a ring that procs, like, a toe app. It has no stats on it, so it's not really good, and the proc isn't worth it, and it takes a whole lot of bug killing in Silithus, but it is kind of nutty, and maybe it might be useful here in Sod. Paladins! So, massive paladin changes, finally! Horde players like me rejoice, because this is wowzers divine shield bubble that's paladin bubble will now reduce your damage dealt by 50 percent while active that is a change that comes i think tbc if not tbc wrath that's usually what it is you do half your damage so no longer paladins just press bubble and kill you they'll have to you know kill you twice as hard kind of nutty divine shield will no longer reduce your attack speed by 100 percent when active so that's gone so it's just 50 percent damage so that is a balance in what it normally becomes so you know maybe you won't just get bubbled on and then lay on hands on if you beat him after the bubble it, i'm just being obnoxious because i'm horrid and pretty much a paladin sees you and you're dead no matter what you do if it's a 1v1 situation temple of aq four piece damage set bonus updated your basic attacks will increase the damage of your next exorcism cast by 20 seconds by 40 percent stacking up to three times so that's pretty awesome. I'm not sure if that's just the ret set or if that is the uh, Shockadin holy set, but pretty cool. Seems like it is the uh, ret set. And main gauge will now increase your sinister strike threat. Uh, will now increase the sinister strike threat generated by 50% was 100. So there, that was a tweak they did last time. They're just sort of. Uh, balancing this out let's scroll up here to this one uh, so right here this is where they did that it now provides a 200% threat increase the center strike was 150 so they went down here and uh, changed it again 
to make the threat generated by 50%. Oh, now increase it. Okay, so I'm not I'm not entirely sure. I think that's it's 50% instead of 100%, but just, you know, rogues, watch your threat. No, you know what to do, rogue tanks. So just going to delete Paladin then, dot, 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 says Darth Paladin. I don't think that's deleting them. Like, it, they literally just changed Divine Shield to what it's always been in future expansions. I think that's a little dramatic. And this dude says they like to appease, okay, and people that have egos on social media. I don't really know where people talked about these changes on social media. All in all, pretty good. Paladin's obviously going to be mad. Anytime you nerf someone, they're going to be mad. But it puts you in line with what pa the Paladin class has been everywhere else in the game that I know of, at least. Like, bubbling always reduced your damage by 50%, except for here, I suppose. So it's just really interesting to sort of see that and what people say. But anyway, guys, those are the changes. Um, Sod's looking pretty good still. Um, I think we have to, we might have two layers up. No, we only have one layer up, but that's to be expected. It is a Tuesday at 11.40 a.m. But Sod is still nice to see the population going good. I am struggling to sort of field uh, raiders right now and get a consistent 20 going for both raids. But Classic just launched. It is isn't Classic Fresh just launched. It hasn't even been out for an entire... Uh, uh, year or week yet it'll be a week on thursday which is thanksgiving so it'll be super interesting to see where that goes and what we uh see with all that but i am hopeful for sod i'm hopeful for the future i think sod will always you know have a special place because a lot of people that play sod are like i don't want to do classic again there's so much with that it entails so much like, don't make me do classic. Like, they just simply do not want to do classic yet again. So, really cool to see that. And so, also, I want to show you guys this. This is what uh, Agrin said about the uh, thing. We're over here on the YouTubes. So, he said, thanks for video. This is something we've been actively discussing. Nothing to re report in YouTube comment, of course. But we still have some time to think about feedback and decide if we want to pivot. The team really does want to find a sweet spot between keeping the raid and the tuning feeling good, but also not taking away flexibility not taking flexibility away from other groups even if it is a smaller portion of the audience so you know i just you know share my thoughts a lot of people here uh talking giving that and you know those are the uh choices and what he said so i just want to update you guys on that and show you exactly what agrin said but i just think it's super awesome anytime a game dev recognizes my videos because i'm just a dude who really enjoys playing world of warcraft and you know, it's my passion. I've put in so much hard work and time and effort into this channel, into Season of Discovery, um, into World of Warcraft and throughout my entire life. So the fact that me just sharing my opinion reaches the game devs who can actually make some change is such a surreal feeling. It feels awesome. So anyway, guys, that's it. I truly hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, I'll see you later. Have a great day. Goodbye. Hey, you. Yes, you. Are you still there? Well, I appreciate you for taking the time to watch this entire video and making it to the end here. If you enjoyed this video, definitely check out the other videos about World of Warcraft listed in these playlists down below. And thank you again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.